Welcome back to Island Life Live, and we are sending our pule and aloha to the Wolfgram family. Eugene Wolfgram, also known as Eugene Hunt, one of the founding members of the 80s pop group The Jets, passed away on Monday from complications due to a heart condition. Mm -hmm. His signature red hair, big smile, and high energy made him a standout in the family group. Do you folks remember the, the music of The Jets? Oh, oh, yes. We went on a deep dive. We went on a, down a rabbit hole to the, the <laughs> yeah. Jets songs, and you know, I think I think it would only be appropriate for us to, you know, maybe perhaps pay tribute by singing a Jet song at the end of the show. We'll see what we can do about <laughs> yeah. that. I, no, I, I remember in fifth grade, me and your cousin, Powahi, right? Mm -hmm. We were like diehard Jets fans. We had the, the what you call it, the culotte pants. Yes. With the sweatshirt, the bright pink ones, but it was cut, when it was cut like this. <laughs> Yeah, with the diehard Jets. And then we used to pretend we was in the band and played saxophone. Because they all played their instruments, that's yeah. why. They yeah, we thought we was the Jets. We totally mm -hmm. thought we was the Jets. I should have worn my Cavalry cheese today, Jets. <laughs> Oh, shucks. Uh, Come on, maybe tomorrow. That would have been a great honor. Yeah, he is survived. Eugene. He is survived by his wife Shell, who grew up here in Laie. Their four children and countless loved ones and fans. Wow. Hey, big congratulations to another incredible Polynesian, oh, okay. to Alyssa Peely. She was selected eighth in the Women's National Basketball Association wow. draft. Now, she is one of the most decorated athletes in Alaska history, having won the Alaska Sports Hall of Fame Pride of Alaska Award two years in a row. What's so cool about her, and the reason why I'm talking about her and you got to hear this, is she is part Inupiaq, which is Native Alaskan, and Samoan, right. which is Polynesian. Wow. <laughs> I love seeing Polly and Aboriginal vibes in the WNBA. Yeah, totally. And I, I like the, love the interview and, and, you know, the family. I'm assuming that was her mom and her dad yes. and the baby was sleeping in the mom's arm. <laughs> you know, it's like the baby luau. Ohana. You know I mean? It's Ohana. And um, just to see her, like, I don't know if you've seen pictures of her playing basketball, yeah. but she has, like, her Polynesian tat going down her leg. Man, it's what a way to you represent. Know, and people have this, mm. this idea of what a... a basketball player is, tends to be tall, slim, lanky, that kind of thing. She's power. Yeah. She is power on the court. So uh, just big congratulations to her. She's what you call a Polynesian terra. Yes. She is. Yes. Oh, girl. Yes. You slay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right on. And finally, Swifties everywhere are up in arms because of claims on social media that Taylor Swift's Tortured Poets Department album was leaked. <gasps> and now it's not supposed to come out until Friday, but the belief is that the music files were obtained from a Google Drive link containing the entire 17-song list. Uh oh But was it really a leak or something else? Upon hearing some of the leaked tracks, though, fans believe they are not Taylor and were generated by the power of AI. Um, and, you know, I got my hands on one of the tracks, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got my hands on one of the tracks. I haven't heard it yet because I wanted to share this moment with you because if it's really Taylor, oh, guys, we you struck gold. Yes. We have it. All right, so let's take a listen to this audio. Team. My boy only Wow, that does sound like Taylor. <laughs> does it really to you? Okay. It sounds. I mean, before. I mean, Wait, like that's what? probably maybe a little bit auto tune. I could hear a little bit of the warbling. Yeah, but that okay. was nice. I'm sorry. What, what is that? I'm, I'm actually getting an alert from our producer. There, what, yeah, what she's saying. There, there's a video attached to this audio. So, oh. I mean, could we be seeing Taylor? What singing Taylor this? Swift? At not her best. And we have, we have <laughs> an exclusive <laughs> clip of Taylor Swift right now. Oh my gosh, let's find out. What, what is this? Wait, wait, what, what? Please, what please play that? the video. Play, play. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I should go. I should go. It was you. Stars. I should. Like you could. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> it was you. No, but that was, that was pretty, though. I think you know. I to who? Who was that pretty? <laughs> to? Thinking, I just said. Should I? Maybe Uncle oh. Kimo, Carol Kai. Can you guys bring back Hawaii stars? That's I tell you right. what. My boy, please, please, please. Brother, toys. don't, don't, don't. As Kumo or Brian Estella would say, don't sing to your children. <laughs> Oh, wow. You're flat. You can always send us an email, islandlifelive at gmail.com, and let us know what you really thought about that. Sounded like Taylor. <laughs>
I think you need to go for that. All right. Again, today is National Banana Day. Banana. <laughs> about how long does it take for a banana peel to decompose? Is it two days, two weeks, two months, two years, or 20 years? Okay. Mele, what's your I'm guess? I'm guessing two years. Two years, little girl. I could say two weeks. Two weeks? Two yeah. weeks? Okay, what's the answer? It's a big reveal. Two years, two years? Boom. Two years. Mele Pala, back on the scoreboard right there. Lovely. Oh, All right, man. now you so Akamai. We'll be right back with some shakas and shout outs. You're watching Island Life Live. <laughs> Are we going to play the song again? <laughs> What you doing, Davey? <laughs>